injured himself. He, uh, he's paralyzed, 16 years old. And, you know, Children's Hospital is a bummer, a real bummer to be in a place like that. The, the prognosis for this kid is pretty good. He's, he's got some movement, and he it seems like he's a tough kid. He'll probably pull through. But I, while you're in there, I was thinking, you know, that, that could easily be one of us. That could be one of our loved ones. And I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it just makes me think that it's so important to uh, seize the moment. So here we are. This is the last leg of this tour, maybe the last leg of this tour ever. We got three more demos to go. We're here today. I think we should uh, seize the moment and make something really good happen in these communities and these skate scenes that we're visiting. Uh, we have the power to do it. We owe it to these people, and we owe it to ourselves. I'm But it was more so about, you know, hey, this tour is coming to an end. We have three demos left. Let's let's do this, man. Let's you know, let's make these demos special. Right from the beginning was was good, man. Like people just going crazy. It was just easy to skate because it was like five different bars, five different hips. We finally got to a place where we could skate like rails and stuff like that again. The course is really big and so that gave us a lot of opportunity to, to try different lines and jump around and we still probably had too many people but it didn't matter. Chalmers stole the show, it was his, it was his demo like Sumner did in Denver. Chalmers really took it over today. He's one of those guys that's so smooth and whatever that you sometimes you don't realize that that he's ripping, you know? Alex, again, created all these new transfers that no one had probably thought of or done before. He's just flying around and everything to him is easy. Do you want to see somebody hit the side? Valley, wall ride. Bob over here. Bam from the roof. Mike V from the roof. Jason from the roof. And then Willie just like ledge, tech. Now look over to my right, I'll see Mike V like, come on, let's rage, you know? It's just like, all right, man, I'm gonna rage too. Let's do that drop in, you know? He's a showman. He's here to put on a show, and, and I respect that. That's our connection is, you know? We both want to put on a good show. All right, you do that bomb drop, I'll do that tail drop, you know? We'll be teammates. <laughs> Bam! Ah! Like me! Yeah, Alice! These guys are just blowing themselves up, getting back up and doing it again. Meanwhile, Markovich is coming off the roll-in. Okay, Markovich, transfer! Everyone's trying to explode themselves. I wanted to tell him to stop, but like, I, I know how it feels when you want to make something, so I just let him take the beating. And then Markovich like, gave up trying to do this huge transfer on the quarter pipe, couldn't get enough speed, was breaking himself. Like He seriously looked like a coal miner walking in on the bus, because he's got no shirt on, just black from all the dirt. The fact that Markovich you know, was in so much pain, got on the bus, got iced, you know, rested, and then got back up, taped himself back up, and went back out, and then pulled the trick. Man, that says a lot about the guy.
was by far the most exciting, best, raw demo that we've had. We actually never see each other except for at contests and sometimes at home. You see vert skating, you see it in a competition format. And I think it's been painted into a corner. You know, people think vert skating, gold medals, 900s, yada, yada, yada. Well, the reality is, is all these guys grew up skating in backyards, you know, having fun. Good times. It was probably the best session I had, so I think today we'll, we'll top it. You just watch Bucky skate the vert ramp, and he just looks like that's where he's supposed to be. Bailing, he looked right. Bob Burnquist does the kick flip, hand flip to fake. It's old and new school combined, you know. It's a new school kick flip to old school finger flip. That was the best thing that I've seen in the vert demo. Sliding Tomato decides that he's going to bring out the backside rodeo. This little 15-year-old giant freckle decides to do a trick that never been done on vert before. He's a professional snowboarder. Much to the dismay of Bucky Lassick. He's done it on a snowboard, so like I'm looking at the way he's doing it, and it's so unorthodox for me to make myself do that because I wasn't brought up on the snow chucking myself, you know? I was like, that's gonna hurt, you know? <laughs> it's a big twist. We've been doing them for years. He just grabbed the backside instead of mute. And because snowboarding, do, they do rodeos. Now it's a rodeo. It's a backside McTwist. Sorry. You can call it whatever the hell you want. I don't care. It was a sick trick. I was standing next to Bam on the platform. We were having the best time. We were like, we we're like, dude, vert skating is gnarly. <laughs> you know? like, Every time I get on that ramp, it's like, it's just like you get the flow, Joe, on every air. It's like you actually feel like you're flying. Such a perfect ramp. Man, they were flying. They were going so high. I don't know how they built it. It looks like the woods put in the metal or something. I don't know. You're riding the most perfect ramp, and you haven't skated vert in days, so you're just psyched all together. So everything was just perfect. We haven't scared the vert ramp yet, this whole trip. There's no vert ramp in Utah? What does Tony do? Tony had the ramp sent out here. It seemed like that ramp just sets them up to really like tweak their tricks out. I love watching vert ramp more than anything. Especially those guys that we have on the tour. Like the best best skaters in the world, so you get to just see it right there every day. I'm, I'm not gonna just like act like it's nothing because it's ridiculous to watch. Sometimes I wonder, do they realize how special this is? You know, this isn't gonna happen, maybe ever again.
I'm definitely looking forward to the next two stops on the tour. I think Vegas is going to be great. There's been no blackjack for, you know, two weeks, and we're used to the bus. We want to go to Vegas. We want to gamble now. Something about Vegas and just looking off at that skyline on top of a bird ramp just makes it special. It's amazing to have watched it grow so much. Like, it's just like a, a known thing now. Oh, yeah, the Tony Hawk tour every year. Screaming kids, bunch of athletes. And now that I just get to be on it more and more, it's, it's amazing. Man, it's great. I don't want to go on any other tour. I'm staying right here. I think for a kid, man, this is the best thing in the world. I know I would have been so psyched to see that. We're going to finish up in Encinitas, California, which is basically most of our hometown skate park. I think uh, we're set up for a grand finale. You know, we, we have to do this. We need, we need a focus, we need leadership. We need to realize what, what our job is out here. 